Hello, hello, hello. There's Auntie Jessica. <laughs> it's like three for one. Yeah, I did two stories and now I'm out of this video. As you can see, it is, um, I think this is dusk now, right? Do you ask it? Late evening time. Sun more or less starting to set. And have you realized it's getting dark earlier? And that means Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming. I know the Christmas baby is getting really excited all right now. I won't really call myself a Christmas baby. I love the time with the family and friends. I love um, the change in the atmosphere, like people being happy. I love the music. I like the lights. I like different things, but I'm not a person. I don't fuss and the house has to take long. The house has to be this way. Uh, you know, the whole shopping. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing a gene, some kind of female gene or something. Yeah, but <laughs> that is it's not limited to females alone, by the way. But that's not me. But certain things I do appreciate. Like, as I said, the sun setting earlier and the beautiful pink sunsets that we get at this time. So, in other words, Auntie, as I said, shared the two stories and she's determined to have a little chat with you. And she didn't feel to get up and turn on the light in the house. So just enjoy. Just take it all in with me. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I had really planned. Hello, Claudette. I see you. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for being the sweet, adorable person that you are. Yeah, Claudette always watches the videos, encourages the children, encourages the auntie. You know, listen, a lot of time, people send and encourage your children. I guess they encourage auntie too, I must say. They do, um, they do affirm me, like, I like how you're dealing with this child. And I like how you get the children to come out. And when they say come out, like, to express themselves and not be shy and so on. I love your sense of humor and that. But below that level, no. <clears throat> not many people would normally go in terms of, uh, uh I like how you share about this thing challenging you. That challenges me as well. Let me work together and, you know, yeah. This auntie loves to have it at that level as well. But Claudette, she's one with a different scene. So I'm giving you, I give Mali. Mali, you get your name called twice in one day, but you must be special. Yeah, yeah her son Mali, he got his special shout out. No, I'm giving you your shout out, Claudette. I see you, girl. I see you working on improving yourself and always. So we had a little discussion, so it was my intention. I get it hot. It was my intention to come and talk about basically like holding space for yourself. In the same way that you offer grace to others, being patient and offering grace to yourself as well. I'm probably gonna share that in between and at some time. But I had a little experience today. I went to the supermarket and I pushed my groceries outside and then there's a gentleman that's usually there that he would ask, like, you know, he would say, well, he would push it back in. So obviously, obviously he's not in the best of circumstances and he does that, like, looking for something. So I did give him something and as I was driving away, I saw him push his trolley and, like, stop and genuflect. Anybody, like, if you don't know what it is to genuflect, it's something that like, you see mostly in Anglican and Catholic churches, like, when you kind of, but you don't go all the way down, like, to kneel, don't touch the ground, but, you know, like, a three-quarter of a kneel before the altar and, yeah, at different stages. Yeah, I saw him, like, doing that in, um, gratitude. That was really touching. Not just in terms of him having the gratitude, but... He was like, how many times you just passed away these people and I don't even want to feel good like referring to him as these people, but I think you know what I mean. People we like to call vagrants and drug addicts and persons with different challenges, yeah. <clears throat> and I do get it, like sometimes we don't want to give and we don't want to share because we feel like they just want to take advantage of us and use our money for things that aren't the best for them and, Believe me, I know, as a person with a very soft and clean heart that gets trampled on quite a bit less now, now that I'm learning about boundaries. Mumu love you so much. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, but we don't want to go the extent that we don't see people at all. Because obviously there's still something in him that will cause him to do that, you see? He understands the importance of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. I really spoke to me. And then I left there and I went by mom and whole family circle there. Yeah. Black rock town. <laughs> Yeah, I went there and she shared with me. I want about Black Rock. How it normally goes there, like you will get a low. A time when nobody's passing away. But if you one person passes away today, mark my word that you can get about 8, 9, 10. Yeah, a whole set. They normally follow each other, then you get another low. That's how it goes. And it's a very, where she lives, it's a very um, close-knit community as well. So she shared with me that someone had passed. <coughs> and this individual... Someone that had like some mental health challenges, but as in all things, he would be embraced in the community. To a certain extent, you know, when they say embrace, he would be given a meal, and in his own way, he would try and like do all little jobs, you know, errands and so on. But she shared with me that he had passed away this morning. He apparently had a stroke and. I suppose in a way, if he was able to express himself, you know, like what he was going through before that happened, he might have had a different outcome. Maybe, you never know. Mm -hmm. So I find um, that kind of put me to thought as well, you know. Yeah, we being there for people in terms of we're not going to let them go hungry, but can we maybe do a bit more? Can we maybe try and engage them a bit more? You know, how are you feeling today? How is everything? I appreciate you. I value you. Yeah. So I'm going to challenge myself. I don't know about you, but I'm going to challenge myself to do that. This video is so dark. <laughs> and that's fine as well because you see the talk, the line I'm going down, invisible. So sometimes, um, perhaps, yeah, we've got to see people, but see beyond. Right, so don't focus so much on seeing and see beyond. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it there. The crickets and I are gonna leave it there. Wishing you a wonderful week. Wishing you lots of happiness, lots of peace, and lots of clarity. Yeah, that just um, that just came out. Clarity, obviously, that's for a reason. Somebody up there needed to hear that. You're not sure about something. Some kind of decision you have to make maybe sometimes even it's like uh like i had a discussion yesterday with a friend his daughter looking to go on like, to the next level she did her what we call her cxc's her o levels and she has like some options where to go now what school to go to what to do to first we have everything positive but which of the different Positive directions would be the right one for her. So it doesn't always work all that. I need to choose between positive and negative. Sometimes everything is positive, but it's what's the right fit. Sometimes you don't really know until you start. Sometimes you start and you actually have to change direction or come back and go again. And that's perfectly fine as well. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. If you can still see me, I know you can hear me. Hopefully you can feel me and connect with me as I connect with you. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.